Hey everyone, welcome back for part two of my 700cc four-wheel drive golf cart build. If you missed part one, be sure to go back and check out that video where I build a budget hydraulic steering system using only boat parts. In today's video, I'm going to be permanently mounting the 700cc Kawasaki Prairie engine. I currently have the engine sitting in there backwards because the output shafts spin the opposite direction needed for the samurai axles. So my thought was, let's put the engine in backwards so it reverses the rotation of the output shaft. Well, the more I looked at it, the more I realized the front output shaft, now the main shaft, was just too weak and only had about half an inch of splines. So instead, I'm going to flip the engine back around the way it was intended, and to fix the reverse rotation problem, I'm going to flip the differentials 180 degrees, making them spin forward instead of backwards. One major obstacle I've run into is how am I going to change a belt on this thing? So the solution I've come up with is to put a step or a Z in the frame that goes around the belt housing, giving enough room for me to take it off. The blade somehow got in a bind and the trigger lock somehow got stuck and uh, this was the result. Last week I caught my pants on fire. It's always something. Now we need to make some gussets to really strengthen up these steps I made in the frame. holes I'm drilling here will be for plug welds just to add a little bit more strength.
Now moving on to the front engine mount. I'm using the same 3x1 tubing that I used for the frame and I kicked it up as high as possible on the driver's side in order to give maximum clearance for the upper suspension link. After putting the carbs and airbox on, I realized the front cowl wasn't going to fit anymore, so out came the saw again. Sorry Easy Go, but the logo's gotta go. There, that's better. I don't know about you guys, but I think this thing's starting to look like a beast. Let me know what you think about it in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.